Baby, make sure you like this video as you are coming in. Make sure you like it. Okay. Today, honey, we are here to talk about that boy A.L., honey. Oh, no. Just a mess. A heathen. Okay. Just a heathen. I don't know what Melody did to that man, but he is so jealous. He is so obsessed. He is so unhinged, honey, when it comes to her. I think that A.L., Martell, Ariane, Destiny, and Tisha should start a group. Okay, called the five haters. <laughs> that was a good one. Not funny, but funny to me though. So right, right. <laughs> so that's that's all of what matters, right? But yeah, the five haters. Okay, that not the four tops, the five haters. Cause child, it's just like, why is you so obsessed with this woman? Okay, did y'all see him? He was uh, over on his channel, honey, trying to make a mockery of Melody. Being on TikTok, he was trying to hint that she's copying up off of Stormy, trying to follow in her footsteps. She's using Stormy's TikTok set. He began talking about how when you're number one, you can actually build your set. And they build it from the ground up for you. A.L. says that Stormy was appreciative of TikTok. So, you know, she decided to let smaller businesses, i.e. Melody, that's who he was talking about, use her old set. What do y'all think of that? And I think he is very much so, like, obsessed of, like, you know, pitting these two women against each other. Okay, make it make sense. Just sick, right? He began mocking Melody's behavior on TikTok, using toilet tissue, holding it up, and child, a mess, right? He began making fun of Melody's products. He tried to allude to the fact that Melody's products, when they come in through the mail, they are damaged. They are not up to par. They are not of quality. He then brags about Stormy's products and her body glaze and how good it smells. And she has body oil and jam. And she's always working on something new, right? So, basically, he's love-bombing Stormy. You know, she can do no no wrong. She's the better businesswoman. It's all about her. Okay, in the, in the words of Maya Wilkes off Girlfriends, it's all you, boo. Okay? That's how he feel about Stormy. Until she crosses him and he pull out that good old tape recorder, honey. <laughs> And then he get to telling her, got your ass, Mr. Postman, I got you, Stormy. I got you when you said this, when you did this, I recorded that. <laughs> you gotta watch how these people treat other people, okay? You really gotta watch it because you could be next and not know it, okay? Don't make this nigga mad, <laughs> He even says about Melody, even Buddy is doing something. Well, at least a little bit of something. So, yeah, he's basically, you know, putting Stormy on a pedestal and putting Melody in a pit. This is something that narcissistic personalities do, you know, because they love creating competition between people, right? There's one person that's their favorite, that they, you know, can do no wrong. And then there's the other person can't do nothing right. They will minimize that person's accomplishments. Okay, that's what he's doing to Melody. Put her in lowest terms, her and her business, right? He even did the same thing with Ariana and Melody. You know, her cootie cat ain't as good as Ariana's. And I'm like, ugh. Child, don't be comparing Melody to that squirrel face half of that DW looking half of, okay? Ariana, no damn well she can't compete with Melody, okay? 
But he got to saying that Melody set herself back. And I'm just like, wow, you are just giving up sass. And I think that at this point, he, you know, he thinks that we don't see the madness, you know. We don't see how, you know, he tries to speak down on Melody and her name and her business, her products, her singing voice that she actually makes a lot of money from doing, okay? So, child, make it make sense. But, honey, the people got to dragging him, honey. They got to dragging his ass, rag attack, tagging that ass, honey. And I was here for it. I sure was. One person says, you make me not want to buy Stormy stuff. Another person calls him out and says, you're always looking for attention. Another person says, you are so petty and not funny at all. Another person says, I have been using 7th Avenue from day one and my products have never looked clunky. She has very good products. I just tried the Canvas Beauty Glaze this week. Pineapple upside down to be specific and I loved it as well. I'm not sure why do everyone have to make these two ladies compete with one another. We should be able to support them both without the pettiness. So sad we have succumbed to this. Well, that's A.L., honey. That's what he's did. Okay, he's taking a page out of Martell Hook-Headed Holt's book. Okay, if you ask me, I say they reading out the same damn book. They are in a competition with Melody. They are jealous of her. You know, they want to destroy her, break her down, put her in lowest terms. This is what narcissistic personalities do, okay? When you tell them no, when you have boundaries for them, when you won't allow them in your inner circle, when you won't allow them in your bed anymore, okay? They have to punish you because how dare you reject them, okay? These people, they have um, confidence issues. They have low self-esteem, okay? So that's why they do the things that they do. Now the person says, this man is sick. If jealousy was a person, it's you. I pray she sue you. Oh, I forgot you don't have anything for her to get. <laughs> Ooh, child. mm 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 and then there were some people, you know, they were amused, you know, by his antics. Okay. One person says, A.L., I needed this laugh tonight. I'm watching it on a Tuesday night. I'm rolling, laughing at the people who are mad, commenting, and taking it personally. They are in a cult. Okay. There you go. A little shot at the mellow meters. Okay. Another person says, baby, I saw her TikTok pop up and I peeped and I kept scrolling down. I'm like, why is this giving Stormy child? The jealousy of her is crazy. Stormy keeps approving us in her silence. I love Stormy. So that person was taking a dig at Melody. Now the person says, you got the mellow mutts, big man. Now the person says, I'm happy you set the record straight. Another person says, she got 12 million likes with only 3K views. She hasn't even sold over 2K items. Make it make sense, but watch how she lie and say she sold out and made over 30K. They are talking about Melody. Another person comments to this and says, likes mean nothing. What happened to them breaking Stormy's record? Another person says she didn't even scratch Stormy's record. She even stopped trying to sell her products and started to focus on them just liking the live. I'm low-key embarrassed for her. She didn't even get close to 5,000 views. Another person says she has no products that are good enough to go viral. Another person says, I thought I was seeing things. Another person says, all they can do is brag about the likes. Another person, that part, she likes so much her fans give me Nicki Minaj fans. They are so delusional. 
Y'all calling Melody delusional, but not the man that y'all laughing with. Like, man, what is he? Because once upon a time, honey, he wanted to be in Melody's clique. Okay, he wanted to get up in the in her circle. Okay? He wanted to interview the people in the circle. He he wanted to to get next to Melody. Okay? So it's just like make that make sense, but that's how they start out. They start out as a fan and then they end up being a foe because you don't want to be bothered with them. You see they crazy, okay? You see, they, you know, a a few french fries short of a Happy Meal, okay? So, Melody protected her peace. God told me to go and not let any demons in my circle. Absolutely. (laughs) I know that's right, Melody, girl. A mess. It's just, it's crazy. It is crazy, honey. That boy way too ghetto for me. I never liked him. And nothing but a demon. I don't do the ghetto. Absolutely not. He can't be up in my circle. You didn't put in on this man. And on that note, honey, I will catch you all in the next video.